So how much do you pay for Internet access? If the answer is too much, then this next story is for you. After receiving hundreds of thousands of complaints, today the CRTC said it would delay its new usage-based billing until May. The government wants it scrapped for good. So what does this mean for you? Avert Gould has that tonight. Brighten up your world. Felipe Sanchez uses the Internet to do so many things, almost every month he exceeds his bandwidth cap and has to pay extra. It's around uh, $15, 20 sometimes. Most Canadians have caps and stay under them. But even so, access to the Internet isn't cheap in this country. That may be changing now, though, after an extraordinary series of events that started with an online protest. I just basically said it's not a real event. These students are now organizing a demonstration, fighting against a CRTC decision that spelled an end to unlimited bandwidth plans, popular with heavy users and small companies alike. Today, the regulator reacted. CRTC's made its decision. Have a look. But the CRTC's review isn't good enough for this crowd. Everyone is a heavy user now. I mean, my grandmother gets hundreds of thousands of megabytes of family pictures all the time. I would like to reiterate the Commission's view that usage-based billing is a legitimate principle of pricing Internet services. The regulator signaled today, review or not, it may still stick to its guns. The government signaled that doesn't matter. This particular take by the CRTC uh, on this policy is not acceptable to our government. We believe it's not acceptable ca to Canadians. So. Some experts say the entire furor is a game changer, something that will force politicians and telecommunication companies to make internet access in Canada cheaper. I think the, the days when the carriers could unjustly raise their rates uh, are over. I think they've got the message. Felipe Sanchez is watching and hoping. Haber Gould, CBC News, Toronto.